Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Lo and behold, we have a ninth place Mystic Mine deck profile from Justin Antonio. I believe that this came out of a extravaganza. Found this on M. Cole 40's channel, and by God, I needed to cover it because it is cancerous as all hell. Now, a couple things I want to note real quick before getting into this deck profile. He played three copies of Wave Motion Cannon, not Cauldron. I threw in Cauldron because Cauldron is strictly better than Wave Motion Cannon. I will never understand why the fuck people are playing Wave Motion over Cauldron. Cauldron is strictly the better card. For Wave Motion, yeah, you can wait four turns and then do 4,000 damage, maybe finish them off with a ceasefire. But I would rather every turn build up damage with Cauldron. It's a player preference thing. I don't understand it, but whatever. We are going to go with Cauldron, not Wave Motion. You can play three Wave Motion if you want instead. Also, another thing to note. Uh, swap out two cards in the extra deck instead of Infernal Sniper. Uh, this guy must have thought that he could get out Infernal Sniper off of Waking the Dragons. Waking the Dragons does not bypass the summoning condition because it must first be summoned, or it must be special summoned with Dark Fusion, cannot be special summoned by other ways. So I threw these in here just to show off the deck profile. Swap out these two for something else, whether it be Waking the Dragon targets or Super Poly targets, since you are playing that in the side deck. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a ninth place Mystic Mine with Dragoon's deck profile. I know you're rolling your eyes already. Really? A Dragoon's deck? Yes, it's Dragoon's. But when you have a Cancer like Mystic Mind, you know, don't you want to throw some more Cancerous Baby back bullshit in the mix? I know I would. <laughs> and this came in ninth place for a reason. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it here. It's Mystic Mind Burn with a lot of other goodies. So we're obviously playing a Red Eyes and Dark Magician. You got to go with the OG art. Uh, three Amato Iwato. Um, Shuts down monster effects. It's like an inspector border for the turn. Uh, two copies of Silent Wobby. Standard. Three Planet Pathfinder. It's standard. And that's it for your monsters. For the spells, we're playing two Red Eyes Fusion, one One Day of Peace, one Terraforming, three Pot of Prosperity. Um, yeah, banish your Super Poly targets, which, I mean, you've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six maybe seven eight nine here i mean you've got options you got options so you're fine three demise of the land three field barrier three cauldron this was three wave motion i already mentioned why we changed it and three mystic mine for the traps we're playing three awakening the dragon three ceasefire i guess because why not three starlight road and three solemn judgment so the main deck right off the bat is fucking bananas like instead of three dark bribe like what we're playing in our build which hasn't changed since i last profiled it instead of three dark bribe this man's playing three ceasefire uh, so for those of you who might not be OG duelists like myself, uh, Ceasefire is a very old-ass burn card. And what it does is that uh, if a face-down defense position monster or an effect monster is on the field, uh, you change all face-down defense position monsters on the field to face-up defense position. Flip monsters' effects are not activated at this time. So if you're going against Invoke Shadal, those flip up, they do not get their flip effects. And then you inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each effect monster on the field. So, you know, if they've got an Invoke board set up, and you got Mystic Mine, you can just burn them for up to 2,500 with Ceasefire. Uh, and then Starlight Road is obvious. Destroy two or more cards you control and use this to get out the Stardust Dragon. If Mystic Mine's out, yeah, you can't use its effect. So I don't really know how much I like having Starlight Road and Waking the Dragon in the main deck because it can conflict with Mystic Mine. But at the same time, I mean, if the opponent is able to pop off and destroy your Mystic Mine plus other cards, then yeah, you're going to want to use Starlight Road to get out the Stardust or what have you. And if you're playing this correctly, you're most likely not going to be setting the Starlight Road um, whenever you already have Mystic Mine and everything else set up. I mean, you know, you might set Awaken the Dragons because if they blow away everything, then you still get the Awaken the Dragons. But that's besides the point. For the extra deck, we're playing two copies of Exterior for Awaken the Dragon targets. Uh, one World Chalice Guard Dragon Almaduk, or Almarduk, whatever the hell. It uh, requires three Link Monsters. It's a super poly target. Uh, three Dragoon, one Starving Venom. One Dragos Capellia, one Last Warrior from another planet, two Infernal Sniper, I already said to swap these out, one Mud Dragon in the Swamp, and three Stardust Dragon. For this side deck, we're playing one Firefist Swan and one Vision Hero Trinity. So at first I was like, well, why the hell is he playing Swan? But it requires two Beast Warrior monsters. So it's generic. So you can use this against Firefist, I believe, don't quote me, because it's been a while since I've played against Tri Brigade. Pretty sure Tri Brigade has some Beast Warriors in their deck, I could be wrong. Vision, uh, Vision Hero Trinity, obviously, you know, if you're playing against heroes to the one guy in the universe that still plays heroes. Uh, triple Lightning Storm, Triple Super Poly, Triple Torrential, Triple Strike, and the one of Skill Drain. This needs to be back at three. I'm, I'm saying it now. It needs to be back at three. Don't at me. 
So guys, this is Mystic Mind in 2021. You mix some cancer with some degenerateness, if that's even a word, with dragoons, and you got yourself a very sexy looking Mystic Mind pie. So go ahead and go on out and test this on Dueling Book, on your remote duels where everyone and their mother is cheating. And uh, yeah, th this this could not have come at a better time, especially when Konami just came out today and said that they're delaying events until May 31st. So yeah, let's, let's be cancerous still. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.